kind of bigoted old man or something. Maybe he's maybe he's a colon he's he's got like a colonoscopy bag that he has to replace. But if he's waiting outside the toilet and it's taking a long time, he's getting like pissed off, and then out comes uh, out comes like an able-bodied person. He's gonna be like super annoyed, right? Um, but if there's like this nice poster that's like, oh look, there's me, um, and then it says. Like, when it comes to how people use restrooms, make your mind accessible. Um, there's all kinds of people who might use it for all kinds of reasons. Anyone can use it. Um, so, I think having that messaging there is... I thought it was interesting how, like, the <laughs> the only colorful one was, like, the gays. Um, but okay, so you've got, like, handicapped accessible women, men, the gays. The gays can use it, too. <laughs> Um, someone with a medical in a condition that's inside. Like, I really like this picture because, um, it implies that, like, hey, someone might have an internal condition that, uh, means that they should be allowed to use the toilet too. These with kids, you need to change your baby. I'm not sure what this one is. I think this one is the colonoscopy one. Or it might just be, like, walls. Wall shape. In Japan, it's more culturally appropriate to try to find a solution to a problem as quietly as you possibly can. And the benefit to that is that you don't have to, like, start a big fight with a whole bunch of bigots about it. You just sort of come to a conclusion that is going to get as many people to cooperate and understand your point of view as possible. And you don't make it a big thing like, do, what, do you, what do you think? Do you think that trans people should just piss their pants? Oh, I do. Um, you know, so, like, I, I feel like that's kind of where America tends to fuck up a lot.